Welcome to Strange Travels. I'm Lauren and that's Clint and we're from Nashville. We love to travel whether it's a day trip or to another country. We love seeking out new experiences, hiking with our dog Lily and finding amazing food along the way. In today's video, we start a road trip through South Carolina with our first stop in Charleston. We try some classic Charleston recipes and visit some restaurants you wouldn't normally think of when talking about Charleston. We take a walking tour to learn about all of the history of downtown Charleston and Lily gets to visit the ocean for the very first time. Today we're starting off road tripping through South Carolina from Tennessee. Hopefully it's going to be a beautiful drive, but more importantly, this is not just a uh, road trip or a vacation. This is a Lily vacation. Lily, are you excited? Are you excited? I'm totally excited. Are you excited? We're uh, getting ready to drive over to Charleston. We're going to spend a couple of days in Charleston and then we're gonna kind of work our way back. We're gonna stop in Columbia, as well as Greenville, South Carolina. And then the whole kind of reason we decided to do this trip is because I actually have a family member getting married the following weekend. So we'll end our time in Kings Mountain, North Carolina for the wedding. We made it to Charleston after a long drive to get here. Um, we finally made it and we are starving. And so, of course, I mean, we have to get seafood food. I think so. I right? think that's what you eat that's in Charleston. Okay, just kidding. We're we are we are like huge seafood lovers, and that is all I can't wait to eat all weekend. But there is one place that we have heard great things about, comes highly recommended. This better be good. And that is Lewis Barbecue. John Lewis, who started Lewis Barbecue, originally got his start in Denver, where he was perfecting his craft in the competition barbecue circuit. He then returned to Austin and quickly became a rising star in Austin's barbecue scene. Then, in March 2015, he decided to move to Charleston, and that's when he opened Lewis Barbecue the following year. Lewis Barbecue is known for its legendary beef brisket, smoked meats, honky tonk music, and laid back vibes. We made it to Lewis Barbecue. I waited in a pretty good size line. Uh, to order our food, which at a barbecue joint, that's a good thing. This food looks really good. We got one uh, green chili cheddar sausage link. Which I am so excited about. One Texas hot guts sausage link, which looks spicy and yummy. We got the green chili corn pudding, the mac and cheese. Lauren got the chopped brisket sandwich, which looks like uh, pulled pork almost. I'm pretty excited to hear her thoughts on that. And then I got the El Sancho Loco, which I don't know if you can see the hot, the Texas hot gut sausage links, the pulled pork and chopped brisket. It is appropriately named El Sancho Loco. This whole thing is going to be loco. We're going to be crazy if we even come close to finishing all this food. You was talking loco and I like it. This is the green chili cheddar. It's really good. It's kind of smoky. Like the flavor. <laughs> Lily wants some. This is the Texas hot guts, which we don't really know. Do we know what's in it or what exactly? It's a lot of spices, I know that. What do you think? It's good, it's not, it's not spicy at all. All right, I'm going in for the corn pudding. This is not what I was expecting. Um, I guess I was kind of expecting it to kind of be like saucier 
It almost looks kind of like casserole, like a corn casserole. Good. Oh yeah. That is great. I can't, I can't wait for you to try it because it's awesome. Lauren was most excited for me to try this corn pudding and I'm pretty excited about it. It's like a, it's like a, that green chili and that is the perfect addition. It's almost like cornbread yes. pudding. Yes. It's, it's like cornbread pudding with green chilies in it. It's so, oh, I should have got my own of that. All right, let's try these mac and cheese. Really good. I mean, it's mac and cheese. Like, come on. All good. All right. So, whoa, 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 that was close. So they had a sliced brisket or a chopped brisket option and I went with the chopped because, I don't know, it just sounded like a good idea. Ooh, and this bun is toasted. Oh, this is gonna be good. I mean, the barbecue's great, but if I'm being completely honest, this bun makes it. I can't even describe, it's like soft, but with a slight crunch, I don't know, but it literally makes the sandwich. So if you come here, you have to try a sandwich. It's really good. And now, the El Sancho Loco. You can get this, you can get the El Sancho with just chopped brisket on top of the Texas hot gut sausage, or you can get it with pulled pork on top of the hot gut sausage, but we went crazy and got the loco style with all three meats, so here we go. Tell me the bun is there. Oh yeah, that bun. Normally I would say coming to a barbecue place as good as this. Why 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 add anything that can take away from the meat, but this does not take away at all. This only compliments. Right, Lily, and it's really good. Lily wants a bite. She's been begging. Look at her, just staring. Also, in case it wasn't obvious, it is dog friendly here at Lewis Park. In closing thoughts, I'm definitely happy that we kicked off our time in Charleston here. It's been a long day of driving and traveling. I think now we're ready to call it a night, get ready for a big day exploring Charleston tomorrow. Lily, how was your first night in a hotel? So this morning we made a quick stop at Glazed Donuts, which is about just a three minute walk from our hotel. Lauren went in, Lily and I just kind of kept walking around while she got some donuts. And I told her, just get me something you know I like. And boy, did she, she knows I love apple fritters. And this is just no ordinary apple fritter. For one, it's the size of a brick. And two, somebody else wants it too. And I think I know why, because it's got bacon in it. You can almost see the bacon hanging out of it right there. <laughs> this is just, this is gonna be a special apple fritter right here. I was, I was worried I was gonna bite into it and not get any bacon you get bacon. It's fall. I mean, that can only mean one thing. Pumpkin. 
So of course my pumpkin loving self had to get the pumpkin chai. So I think it's like filled, uh, like it's a pumpkin, I guess like cream filled chai, I don't know, but I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna take another bite. I didn't get any filling. I'm not sure. Let's try it. Mmm. Okay, there we go. It's got like a pumpkin cream custard. And it is really good. Now we're going to kick off this day with a two hour walking tour in Charleston. I was we're standing here. We just checked in for our tour and I realized it looks like Lauren got the Nate Bargatze ice with milk. <laughs> Milk with ice. <laughs> if you don't get that reference, uh, Nate Bargatze is a comedian in Nashville, or he's from Nashville, and he's gotten more popular. He's got a couple specials on uh, Netflix. So, yeah, the Tennessee Kid. Uh, so go check it out because it's hilarious. But if you don't get that reference, you will after watching it. We just finished our two hour walking tour through Charleston. Uh, it was about $25 a piece and it was a, kind of a last minute decision on our end to do it, but we're yeah. so glad we did. Yeah, we uh, the weather has kind of been iffy and like before we left, we kept looking to see, is it gonna rain, is it not? But thankfully it's just cloudy, so I'm so glad we did it because yeah. even though I've been here before <laughs> and Clint has technically been here for a day, uh, neither of us had done anything like this or spent any time like really <clears throat> understanding the historical part of Charleston and um, so it was just really cool and our tour guide was awesome his name is Mark and he was great okay our tour guide Mark was an amazing two-hour walking tour and he is gonna help teach us how to say Charleston the correct pronunciation Charleston is phonetically spelled C H a A A S T O N. Charleston. Charleston. You can add as many A's as you wish, but Charleston is the The L and the R aside. We got to see uh, how a lot of their porches or piazzas, yes. as they call them, because uh, it sounds fancier, <laughs> um, none of them face the street. Uh, the way the houses were structured was to uh, have the front of the houses turned so that they can open windows from the side of the house to get the breeze through the house. Because it's so hot and humid yeah. in Charleston. It was a great tour, highly recommend. Uh, but now, I think it's time to go find some lunch. Seafood for sure. Yeah. Well, it's about time. So after the tour, we stopped at Pearl's for lunch and uh, I got the Cooper River Scottish Red Ale. Uh, here, when, you, when you're visiting places, I hear that drinking the, I heard that drinking the local beer is supposed to help with allergies. Wait, what? Where did you hear that? That was on a YouTube video. <laughs> what YouTube video? <laughs> this one. <laughs> but you totally Just got let him have this one. And I got rosé. And it's amazing. There was a rosé that saved the day. It was delightful. We also ordered clam chowder because it's kind of cool here today. So, found something to warm me up. So we wanted to do kind of a lighter lunch. So we got the soup and then we got this trio sampler that is uh, oysters, pill and eat shrimp, and clams. And I'm really intrigued by the clams because I've never had them this way. So, that should be interesting. Alright, I also got an oyster shooter. Uh, I can't remember exactly what uh, is all in this one. I remember pepper vodka. There is an oyster in here. Right there. I've had I've done one before in New Orleans. It wasn't that enjoyable. I don't really know why we're doing it again. Probably just to film it this time. Um, 
good. I don't think there's any way on earth I'm gonna get this whole shot an oyster in one go, but here we go. actually really good. It tasted just like a spicy Bloody Mary. Like a shot of Bloody Mary. But you want. Yes. That was really good. I would do that again. So after lunch, we decided we should bring Lily to the beach. But I don't think she's ever seen sand. Or De felt it. Def or... Definitely never been to the ocean. Yeah. So as uh, Nicki Minaj said, let's go to the beach. After the beach, we came back to the hotel, uh, kind of just to like hang out, and then we changed clothes because I actually uh, made us reservation at a place called Hanks. It came highly recommended, um, and man, it did not disappoint. Yeah, uh, we started off with just uh, drinks. You got I got prosecco, and then I got a winter bourbon sour, and I, um, I love a good. Uh, whiskey sour and yeah. this was awesome. Yeah. I uh, may have gotten two of them. Yeah. Another. I'm kind of so sad good. I didn't get it, but it was fine. It was really good. I got to try it. So yeah. Okay. And then uh, I got the she crab soup, which is a Charleston like uh, signature staple. dish. Yeah. And it's been around forever. Wow. Wow. It tasted to me like a seafood. Uh, stuffing in a soup. <laughs> I, I guess it's probably just the spices that are in it, but oh, it was so good. Um, and then you got a half dozen yes, oysters. Yes, I ended up getting a half a dozen oysters and then I got scallops and I can't remember specifically what the glaze or the sauce was in it, but oh, it was so it was good. good. It was really good. Uh, yes, it was really good. And then I got a Seafood Alawando, which apparently is a 80 year old recipe here in Charleston. Okay, it the seafood Alawando is shrimp, scallops, fish, mushrooms, sauteed with sherry, finished with scallions, crab meat, tomato, fried grit cake, and a shellfish saffron cream. And I, I, I may or may not have. Uh, been inappropriate in such a nice restaurant. I definitely used the leftover bread <laughs> that we had, and the bread was really good. Yeah, and I definitely really used that bread to sop up some of that cream sauce that was in that <laughs> on seafood. the on the sheet crab soup and it, and in the entree. <laughs> I, I regret nothing. It was that's, we, I, that's probably how it should be done. <laughs> worth it. <laughs> we are definitely full now but of course not too full to go find some dessert. Yes. All right, so we ended the night at Carmela's Dessert Bar and Cafe, and I didn't really know what to expect, and then as we were walking up, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a little bit of a bar vibe at night. It's a, uh, like a coffee shop, dessert yeah, spot. Yeah, but with like also alcoholic dessert drinks and shakes, and um, I don't know, it was, really cool though super fun totally somewhere I could hang out for a while like uh, they have fun such place. they have such fun drinks good desserts like now I, I have to say they had tiramisu but I did I didn't get it what because we decided to split something and they had these enormous 
like cakes that were easily for two people. I mean, probably four people. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, so we ended up getting the cannoli cake. It was and, awesome. Yes, and then I got a thin mint martini, and it was delicious. And I got a ginger hot, to a ginger toddy, that, or it was called a ginger toddy, but it was ginger bourbon, honey, and lemon, and it was awesome. It's a chilly night. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. So now I think we're gonna call it a night, and then uh, not too sure what we're gonna do tomorrow morning. We're definitely gonna go find a co coffee shop or something, and then we do have brunch reservations, which I'm super excited about. So. Yeah, another day of exploring Charleston. It's just a baby. Bag it up, okay? All you gonna do is just, we, we, we just bag it up, okay? That's it.